Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and this is part two on how to draw Kong vs. Godzilla. So, uh, part one was quite long. Uh, I might actually be able to shorten it quite a bit by editing some things out and uh, cutting some areas out of the, the video. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with drawing some shadow. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, doing Godzilla, I think, because Godzilla is uh, on the left side, and I don't want to rest my hand on on Kong and smudge everything around. So um, yeah, let's start. So I for I kind of forgot to put in the uh, jawline over here. Alright, that looks uh, kind of okay, it looks about or how it's supposed to look. So now, um, like I said, so I want to figure out where the shadow will be. The shadow is mostly on the right side and the, the lighting is mostly on the left side. And also, everything that comes closer to the to the, the camera uh, will get darker as well, apparently. So let's start off with doing the uh, lower jaw. Might actually. Um, this area in this part in time lapse so that it is easier for you guys to uh, because it's not really like I can give you guys instructions it's, it's just about where should you put your shadow not about how you should put it there I would say if you really want to know how to put in a uh, shadow onto your drawing make sure you don't press too hard early on and um, you can just go darker and darker eventually so don't go dark straight away just make it darker and darker as you go along and uh, eventually you will get the right tone that you really want time to get at where I'm I'm at right now and uh, I can give you guys some shortcuts on how to uh, get better at drawing certain things because normally it would have it would have taken me a longer time to uh, kind of to, to to learn some things I guess to, to uh, learn certain techniques or learn certain things to get better at drawing I can give you guys some shortcuts on that because I am already past some areas of drawing and might help you guys out a little bit more 
because I remember how ho how hard it, it was back in the days when I really wanted to draw something like this, but I didn't know how. And yeah, I hope this this helps you guys a lot to uh, to have that kind of shortcut and uh, learn how to how to get better in drawing and stuff. So right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm drawing some uh, sort of skin impressions and I'm leaving some highlights because um, what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing a couple of highlights and I want to make sure to uh, keep those highlights in, in the drawing. So make some uh, areas get out a little bit more like this. Make it look like the skills are overlapping because that's the way it looks in this reference photo that I'm using. And you can also do that over here, but over here it's a lot darker. So I'm going to go over this even more like this and I want to have some some scales coming out right uh, over there as well like this Basically something like this. Now I want to make some uh, some clear lines to indicate that it's not just one big skill because um, they are. It's like he has couple of rows actually but I want to make it look like he has three rows one here one here and one there and over here he has an elbow with also a lot of scales and stuff and but I don't need to put in too much shadow over here, I can just put in some lines. Because uh, there is a lot of highlights going on here. So this is basically um, how I would start off uh, a drawing like this one drawing like Godzilla is by putting in a uh, shadow first and then going back in with more details and over here the skills get really a lot smaller piece of what I can see And um, so the lighter areas act, uh, act as highlights, the dark areas act uh, like, like some shadow. But his whole uh, hand is pretty dark to be honest, and there's not a lot of highlights on it, so I'm just gonna make it really really dark but I do want to keep a certain pattern so I'm not gonna make it smooth like over here 
I'm gonna uh, make it like scribbling lines and stuff and stuff like that. And I wanna have a little bit more shadow in between the fingers so that you can clearly see the, um, the separation of them. And the thumb as well. Maybe a couple of small scales can't hurt. Something like that looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we did do all the shadowing on Godzilla, so that's why I'm trying to put in a little bit of extra detail. It's not going to be too uh, too detailed. At least I'm going to try not to be too uh, detailed with everything. But um, I do want to get a couple of um, a couple of things that make it look like really make it look like Godzilla. He has loads of skills over here. It's almost like um, you could com compare them to uh, fish skills. Because fish uh, do have skills that look a lot like this. But make sure they go around this pattern because that's his arm. As long as they go uh, at about this pattern on his arm, it's gonna be fine. So now on top of those skills, he has some dents and some areas and. A lot of details so to make it look more detailed without it being more detailed or detailed you could um, put some, some random shapes everywhere it doesn't really matter what it looks like but if you look at the full picture it will kind of look a lot better than if you wouldn't add them. Make sure you press down harder at the, the uh, darker areas of the drawing, the shadowy areas, because otherwise uh, the scales will look like they are fading in the darker areas while they should actually um, be, well I mean like of course you could make it like they're fading but it, it, it's supposed to look more darker at those areas all right we could put in the same kind of detail over here he has some very strange skills I must say all right so he has a lot of shadow around this area but also some shadow on his cheek over here but he does have some highlights over there as well it's really hard to um, to make this look uh, to make this look good by the way his nostril would be right about over there but it's not like you're really you're really going to see it In, inside of his mouth there would be a lot of shadow like so and you can make this fade in making it lighter and lighter like 
that. Then on his snout there is a lot of shadow. There is really much shadow over here. And it follows kind of a certain certain path I would say. Then over here we have a line that goes like this. And I'm guessing that's his eyebrow. So inside this area there's gonna be a lot of shadow. It's gonna be really really dark. Area surrounding his eye. Side of it, it's almost like it's completely highlighted there. We have a lot of scales that go down like this. And also a lot of scales that go down like this. From here on, there is some very clear detail visible uh, from his uh, his neck and we do have some like it, it, it kind of it kind of goes like this But it's not, it's not like it's perfectly straight every time because there are lots of bumps and stuff and even fades away over here, as it seems. So what happens here is, it seems like Godzilla has uh, gills and they are located right about here. And the shape of them differ as well. It looks a lot like this. Then we have a lot of those skills like exactly like on his arm. And of course he has some skills on his face as well. The way that I'm gonna draw them on his uh, face is exactly the way that I draw them on his lower arm without any really harsh lines just to keep them uh, just to keep some some highlights and stuff because it's so small that it's really hard to draw uh, the highlights in it over here it's just completely darkened I don't even know why, to be honest. Over here as well, just trying to keep the highlights. So there's just some random, random shapes and scribbles. This area isn't completely highlighted, so I'm just trying to make it look like so um, that only a certain part is highlighted. And then we 
have some detail over here as well underneath his his throat and his chin now we just want to keep that pattern going of um, basically scales everywhere it's gonna be a lot of shadow over here There's gonna be at certain points of the of his body is gonna be more shadow than at than uh, at other points. Because he, he is really really big, so um, there are a lot of places where highlights can come from at his at his body. I'm thinking I might have actually uh, drawn his drawn him a little bit too chubby but um, I mean like it's not that bad in my opinion patterns going and everything will be fine eventually over here as well on this, uh, this belly but over here he has some he has an area where the scales look more like this so it's not the same everywhere it's just he has some patterns that are quite unique I must say we need to try to capture everything the way that it's supposed to be. There are areas where the scales get bigger. sides like that and the pattern is more angled like this over here I would say it's beginning to look a lot like uh, Godzilla, I would say, but I want to um, make this area a little bit better as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase a little bit of the darkness in his face, 
to make it look... I want his face to stand out a little bit more. So let's see how that looks. It looks pretty okay. I want to have some more detail in his face as well because since I'm gonna do three parts of this I wanna be able to put in as much detail as I would like to starting to look quite good just doing the same thing as what I did with uh, with over here but just a little bit darker just want to make his eyes stand out a little bit more as well Just making everything around his eye a little bit darker. And you know what? Let's just keep his face like that. I don't want to go farther into the drawing and ruin his face more. I could go in and define the lines of his jaw so that people will have no problem recognizing the edge of his jaw like so let's see how it looks on the camera all right so if i turn out my lamp turn off my lamp on me, then i think you would be able to see his face a little bit better. So I'm just gonna continue on drawing this way. I've got one lamp right here right now. And um, if I'm gonna start drawing Kong, I think I'm gonna turn off my lamp on my left side so that, uh, because whenever you're drawing and uh, you're pressing down pretty hard on your pencil, if there is a light source, the graphite kind of reflects the light and uh, that's exactly what's happening on his face right here. So uh, that's because I have an, a different lamp set up right on my right. Um, if I turn it off, the drawing looks a lot darker. So let's continue. So I might do a little bit of these scaly patterns over here, but I don't want to pull the attention off of his eye. So I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to continue on doing his um, Scales on the rest of his body, so it's not it, there's not much left to be honest. It's not too bad anymore. But still, we still have to do a lot. So again, I'm just doing a random pattern right here to um, to create a look. And it makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Three I'm gonna use more rounder scales when I go back to, uh, well, when I get closer to his back and compared to when I'm at the, the, the point, the peak of his plate because it will look it look like it's um, it, it's more rounded right there at this area. Maybe 
couple of randoms, random scales everywhere. Make this line a little bit darker so it makes it look like it's overlapping a little bit. Or maybe I made it a little bit too dark to be honest. Because in comparison with the rest of the drawing, the area that it's at was looking a little bit too dark. It's very hard for me to see how dark everything is right now because of the fact that um, because I turned off one of my lamps so everything kind of looks dark <laughs> now if I go too dark I don't really I won't really see it too good By the way, it's not supposed to be very light everywhere. You just need to be able to have some highlights. So what I'm doing now is I'm just coloring, coloring in some areas and leaving uh, some other areas completely white or how it was so that it looks more like a random thing. I also want to have some more shadow coming down from this strange line. So that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> You can make most of those um, blades very dark, doesn't really matter too much. It's just the way they are, they're just um, the background kind of thing. They are part of him, but it's just like if you would draw the tail of a dinosaur, it doesn't really matter how much detail you put into the tail, because it's not really supposed to be in the foreground you know I do want to make this more pronounced th these lines here so that it still does look like they are in the foreground over here as well and then over here as well This might take a while to edit these videos because <laughs> this part is already at 42 minutes long and I only drew Godzilla so <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kong won't be as difficult because it's just a bunch of hair and a bunch of shadows By the way, the plates on the background, you could leave them a little bit more pale. They don't have to be so dark, because they are more at the background and everything that's at the background of a drawing is supposed to be a tiny little bit lighter. But it's your choice. Whatever you want to do. In 
I mean like for me it's just that I just want to indicate that they are there doesn't mean they have to be very detailed ones on the front will be the darkest and the ones in the back are the lightest and also the ones on the front um, produce the most shadow so I'm, I am gonna put a little bit more of a shadow indication over here to make it look like they do block the sunlight a little bit. Alright, so now the only thing that we still need to do is his other arm and hand. But, um, I mean like, they don't need to be too dark. I might just put in a little bit of detail, but it's not like it's going to matter too much. And then this hand could be just darkened like that. This way, um, everything on the foreground will <coughs> look a little bit better. Alright. This is supposed to be one of the darkest areas, I guess. Oh, I, I should also put a little bit more detail over here. Might as well put a little bit more darker lines at this bottom jaw as well, so you can clearly see his teeth. Just a couple of lines right here. Like that. And again, let's see what it looks like on camera. Well, I would say that looks pretty cool. Pretty good. Um, yeah, so again, just like with Godzilla, we are going to focus on doing the shadow on Kong.
are at the point of the video where we are going to start to add some fur and it might be a little bit difficult but just try to follow the tutorial best as you can so for this arm he has a lot of hair so we want to start with adding a little bit on the edge and then we want to start adding some very a lot of wrinkly little hairs actually and here it's just gonna be less and less over here as well just a few protruding little hairs and then they just get kind of longer and longer make sure they don't stick out too much over the uh, the um, the outside of the line of the drawing because that will make um, that will make the shape change a hell of a lot and um, it's not gonna be as what it was intended to be so on his on his hands he does not have hairs but the hairs closer to his hands do tend to be just barely there like on the back of his hands the hairs go like uh, till over here and they get shorter and shorter but at the inside of his hands um, there's not a lot of a lot of hair or, or I would say a lot of fur so now we want to go to his head and this is kind of interesting I would say because there is a pattern here it's almost like he has a human kind of facial hair growth it does look like he has a beard somehow so we are gonna try to add that by adding some smaller hairs everywhere and the hairs on his face looks like they have a tendency to grow outward so like on a human the hairs would grow um, towards the way you're looking and then on his his scalp the hairs grow more backwards and they kind of have a strange curve to them they kind of it's like they he has uh, his hairs I mean it's they aren't very long or anything but the hairs on his head do grow almost like the humans I would say I'm just adding the hair on his uh, jawline right now. Try to mimic the highlights that I am using. Because over here, this is supposed to be darker than his hair. Because his hair on his face almost has a, kind of like a grey tone to it, I would almost say. And over here they just the hairs just get longer and longer until you cannot really tell anymore which way they are growing at or two 
But we don't have to be too precise with everything. It's just about the small extra detail that you bring bring in with it. So we can add a little bit of shadow on his teeth as well. Like that. I would say the highlight on his head is a little bit too extreme, so I'm gonna color it in a little bit. That way it wouldn't be too extreme. Because you have to make it so that it fades in with, with the rest of everything. So over here as well, just a bunch of hairs. And whenever you're drawing fur, you have to pay attention a little bit at the direction that you draw it at direction that it's going because if you just draw simple lines and simple little hairs everywhere going and, and all the hairs are going at the same direction you will kind of have um, a plain looking drawing that does not have any depth in it so whenever you're drawing something like this you need to pay attention to those things Sometimes you could add a little bit of hair sticking out everywhere, everywhere. And you can add longer and shorter hairs. And I would imagine that the closer you will come to the, to the camera, the bigger and the longer the hairs will become or get. Also on an ape's arms, you will have very hairy arms. kind of go like this this direction he probably would have had some hair sticking out right there uh, it wouldn't be too much And then over here, he has a couple of smaller hairs on his hand. They are really, really small. And the farther you go back to his arm, the longer the little hairs will get. Now we just need to add a couple of hairs over here. It's not necessary, but we can add them, so why not? Just adds a little bit extra detail to the drawing. But the hairs on his belly are a lot thinner. I mean, a lot shorter and not really long and he does have a couple of small little hairs everywhere here but it's not like it really matters too much so yeah there we go oh wait I forgot one very important thing and that's his ear so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna add the shadow area that is ear in that way I'll create kind of a, an ear that's similar to his there we go <sighs> not sure how it looks on camera 
but in my opinion so yeah wait wait I, I forgot something because I darkened every line basically every outside line except for this one right here so I'm just gonna go over this again and try to make it a little bit thicker and darker that way it looks a little bit better compared to the rest all right so there we have it Godzilla versus King Kong all I need to do right now is add my autograph and the date Okay, I think it turned out pretty pretty okay um, and I hope you guys liked it so yeah if you like the video leave a like comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video so this was Lionzo Drawer and I'll see you guys in a week